Jesus. Hi. Okay, so before I start this video, I just have to rant. Mm. I'm sitting on my yoga ball today for reasons and explanations. Rant. This whole video is going to be a rant, but here's a rant about what happened today. Normally when I go into CVS, if I see an employee, they greet me, they ask me if I need anything, they wait for a response, you know. Like normal employee stuff, right? No matter what I'm wearing, what my face looks like, what's going on with my, like, visage, always very polite. Today, I walked into CVS in this outfit, please note, leggings, like black tank top, Gryffindor crop top, just because that's what I wore today, and my hat like this. No one. There was one person who greeted me because I was standing right next to him, looking at the display next to him, but everyone avoided eye contact, and no one asked me if I needed help. And I'm standing there like, I'm not acting any differently. I was like, if you're intimidated by me because of this hat, I'm very clearly a pasty white girl that is also a nerd wearing a Gryffindor crop top over a black tank top because she doesn't even have the confidence to wear the crop top. Also, she was at work. What was so different about me? And then I was like, was it because my hair was like this? Like, I don't, I have no clue. It was weird. I've walked into CVS in stage makeup that looked ridiculous. I've walked in multiple times with fake blood on my body or face and they haven't batted an eyelash, but apparently wearing a very clear tourist hat and a Gryffindor tank top makes me look scary. And I'm cold, but I had to tell this story, so now I'm gonna put my sweatshirt on and then I'm gonna start this video. I just wanna do logic puzzles and color instead to edit the video. <laughs> Hi, welcome to today's video. What, you were expecting something from New York? Well, I have a story to tell you children, and this is how it goes. I had an amazing time in New York, and on Monday morning, before I left Heather's apartment, I decided to import my footage onto my external hard drive before I left, so that when I got onto the bus, I could just start editing right away. So I imported the footage. I had two 16 gig cards full of footage, so I imported the footage off the first one, saw it on my external, took that card out, started importing the footage off the second one, and then realized that I really needed to get going, because I needed to catch an Uber in order to get to the bus station on time in order to get on the bus on time. I was taking Megabus. So the second set of footage is imported. I see it there in the in the iMovie and I'm like, great, super, it's done. So I close my computer as soon as they're done exporting and I unplug my external and my camera and I like unplug my computer, I pack it all up, I order the Uber and I walk downstairs, it's pouring rain, I step under the little cover thingy and then the Uber comes, I get in the Uber, we got to the, the bus stop, it's pouring rain and everything is saturated within two seconds. So I turn to the girls behind me and I'm like, is my backpack closed? I just want to make sure my backpack's closed. And they're like, yeah, it is. And then the girl behind them was like, do you want to share my umbrella? So then we shared an umbrella. But I was already soaked to the bone. My shoes were completely soaked. My pants were soaking wet. My sweatshirt and t-shirt and sweater that was underneath it were all wet. And my hat was wet. And my bags were wet. I was just wet. And it was cold. And then the bus finally got there. And we got on the bus. And I sat down. I pulled my computer out. The bus starts going. I open up my computer. I stick my external back in. Notice that I had not unplugged it safely, which I really try not to do, but occasionally I do. It's fine. And so I open it up and I'm like, open iMovie and there's no footage. Oh, I forgot to mention. So after I had imported the footage from the first card, I had taken the camera off the computer, deleted all the footage, and filmed myself talking about the final bits of my trip to New York before I imported the second card. Half that footage that I had imported, I had deleted off the cards, and now none of it was on the external hard drive. I literally sat there muttering, fuck, 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 over and over again until I was in tears. The woman next to me was like, is everything okay? And I told her what happened. I was miserable. I immediately posted to Facebook saying like, I don't know what to do. Does anyone have any suggestions? Already, that's happening, right? Let's, let's add in the fact that I'm soaking wet, sitting in a very small box next to another person who is trying to like understand why this crazy girl next to her is muttering fuck over and over and over again and crying. And then you have to add in the fact that I was going to remain on that bus for the next six hours. The heat, apparently the driver had no control over. So all of us on this bus are soaking wet and freezing. It was so cold. Everything just stayed wet the entire time. It was just wet and cold. And he finally stopped at a Burger King and everyone's all happy and getting food. And I'm there like, well, I might as well go pee in a real toilet and then use the hand dryer to try to dry my pants off for a couple seconds before getting back on the bus because Lord knows I can't eat anything from Burger King. I am just completely devastated. I'm miserable. People are trying to calm me down. I'm refusing to take any positive thinking into this. I'm like, I just 
ruined. I'm never going to get that footage back. I hate everything. I was just not okay. And then I thought my mom was coming to pick me up in the car because it was Marathon Monday and she was going to see my cousin run the race, which she finished, by the way. Woo! It turns out she took the train in and I find that out. So then I'm like, really? I have to take the train home, that means? And then my bus is late. That's why I was on it for six hours, okay? The time my bus gets in is about 10 minutes after the train that my mom takes out, which means I have to wait another hour before I can get onto the train to get home. I know it's too late to have noticed the fact that there's a big giant red mark on my head, but my camera battery died. I had to fix the, I had to replace the battery and I needed to figure out what part of the story I was in. And this is the part of the story I was in, but I put a hat on to cover the thing. I'm sitting in South Station with a hot chocolate that they made incorrectly the first time. They put whipped cream on my coconut milk hot chocolate. If someone orders a coconut or soy milk hot chocolate, you always ask if they want whipped cream, because some people do, but most of the time, it's someone who cannot process dairy, and you're just setting them up for diarrhea. Like, that's not fair. So I'm sitting in cell station, editing my video, being miserable, cold. I also couldn't get in touch with my parents for the first, like, 15 minutes after I got off the bus, because my mom's phone was dying, so it was off, and for some reason, my dad wasn't answering his phone. And when I finally get in touch with them, they're like, oh, it's no big deal. I was like, I am fucking miserable. Give me a break. Finally get on the train, okay? Got a table on the train, thank God. Finished the video and was ready to upload it as soon as I got home. So I'm sitting on the train. There's people all around who'd finished the marathon, had a grand old day expecting it to rain, so they were dry. I'm wet. Still wet. And then the tra train stops at a station, starts to go again, and then stops again. I didn't even notice because I was on my computer, but then all of a sudden over the PA system, it's like, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a bit of a delay because it seems that our fast break system is having a malfunction. We're calling into central office to see if they can help us out. Are you kidding me? This is just unacceptable. I was so angry. I texted my parents like with like 18 F-bombs like, mm, train, Stop. I finally get off the train when the train starts going again. My lovely father is sitting at the train station right at the exit and he's got the seat warmer on. I come home, I shower, I'm miserable, and then I go to work the next morning exhausted. But I still don't have that footage. Today I downloaded software um, that is supposed to like search hard drives and it wasn't on the card. I had filmed over it so I wasn't really expecting it to be there. But someone pointed out to me that like it could be on the hard drive because I had seen it on the hard drive. So I searched the hard drive with like like the quick search function and there's tons of video footage because it included footage that I did not have footage from the other card however it was all incredibly corrupted so I'm thinking and what I'm doing now is I'm doing a deep search into the thing the like the more intense search and I'm hoping that might find more uncorrupted files maybe I don't know I don't really understand how this stuff works the point is more than half of my footage from my last day and a half in New York is gone and maybe gone forever. And that is just so upsetting. It makes me want to cry. It's a bunch of footage from walking around New York. And then there's like some really great footage from me and my friends making the video. It's all gone. And I'm really hoping I can get it back because what I do have from the other card from that night is so uproariously funny to me. And I would love to be able to find the rest. Guys, it's, I am bereft to quote, uh, I don't know, was that Rachel Duncan on Orphan Black season two? I'm so upset. So right now, it's doing this deep scan. I started the scan at 6.06. .06. It is now 7.17 and it's at 2%. It's gonna take a while. We'll see if that works. If not, I'll figure out what to post, but I, that's why you got the pizza muffin video yesterday is because I remembered I had that on my hard drive still and I was just gonna post that instead of posting stuff from New York because I wanna see what I have from New York before I post it all. Do you have any advice for me on what to do? Because if you have some sort of magic way to get it back really easily, please tell me because I want it back. That's it. I ranted. I needed to get that off my chest. I'm also sitting on my yoga ball today instead of my stool. I'm sure it's nice and farty sounds over and over again. I am so upset. So let me know if you know of anything that I can do to solve this because I don't know anything else and I had to turn to other humans to help me in the first place. So if you have any ideas, please tell me. Also enter my giveaway. Also I love you and I'll see you tomorrow and I don't know what kind of video you're getting tomorrow. It depends on whether or not I recover shit, among other things. But I love you. Goodbye!